all the drawings in this video I downloaded from Nostalgia Air and have supplied the links in the show more of this video. This is the wiring diagram and from that information I got from Nostalgia Air here I have labeled all the pins of the tubes which will help me find the coils for testing. Now here's the inside of the chassis and here is the tube layout for this radio. I like to test the IF transformers first and here I'm going to test the primaries of both IF transformers and here are the test points I'm going to use. Pin 3 of the 42 and then pin 2 of the 6D6 and pin 2 of the 6A7 and if we get continuity on both of those the primary of both IF cans are good. Then the next coils I want to test are the secondaries and here are their test points 3 and 4 of the 75 tube and the high side of the volume control will test one of the secondaries and the other secondary is the cap of the 6D6 and the other side's a little bit harder to find but if you trace that through resistor 7 you'll see that it also goes to the volume control so if you work backwards I can find that point. Okay I've got my meter set up here and I'm going to use alligator clips it just makes it easier and I've also got my bench computer on so I can take a look at the schematic as we go and the first thing that I want to test are the IF cans and if we go to pin 3 this is 1, 2, 3 right here of the 42 and let's see here pin 2 of the 6D6 which is right here leads any good here. Let's see. Now well, we had ohms for a minute. Let's see if I'm counting this right. Oh. This is two over here. Looked at it wrong. There we go. That's much better. Okay. 19.5 ohms. That's good. Now, if I get on the right pin here, pin 2, which I think is that one, it's probably what I was thinking of earlier. Let's see here. That's the 6A7. Now, oh, that looks very good. Okay, so both primaries are good. So now, take this off. And this, if we go to, let's see, of the 75 to pin 3 and 4. Let's see. It's really hard to see. Okay, there's the two big pins, so that's one two, three. Oh yeah, I can see the wire connecting the two together. Okay, I got that on there. Okay, it says it goes to the 
volume control, which would be right here. Okay, that's good. 10.8 ohms. And the cap, that right there. that from hitting ground. There, that'll do it. And the other end, okay, let's see if we can find it. Yeah, let's see. Oh, there it is, right up there. Okay, so I bypassed all the resistors and we got the 12 dot I know, so that's a big relief. Both IF cans are good. Now the oscillator coil is very important, of course. And I'm going to be testing these coils, and of course, here's some uh, suggested test points. But the way that the coils are built, it's actually easier than what I thought. So this won't be too bad. And likewise, over here on the left, the antenna coils. It's not going to be too bad to test these either, the way that they're constructed. Okay, believe it or not, these are the oscillator coils. And we took a look at those and they're just a beginning and end on these, the way that these are constructed. So, right now I don't care which is which, all I'm interested in is continuity. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, so we got a coil there and we didn't get anything here, so across that we should have the other coil. And we do, and nothing there. And then this one, very high resistance, ooh, very low resistance right there. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be a crossed. If that's true, then we go on the other side of this cap. I do it with my flashlight. Okay. We should have the other end of the coil. And we do. Very, very low ohms. Okay, I'm going to start with the cap of the 6A7, which is right here. And that goes to one side right here. Yep. Here's the bottom. That's linked together. Here's the other side. Okay, so those two coils are good. Now these other two only have one coil each.
Okay, that's good. And let's see. One of these is, uh, oh, that's just a terminal there. So it would be this one down here. Oops. Yeah, very low ohms. So it looks like all the coils are good in this radio. That's very good news. Okay. We had some ohms between coils here. Make sure. Yeah. And then the other coil is right here. Yeah, very low ohms. And I'm thinking here I'll move that out here. That this paper cap might be leaking. Since all the coils are good, let's cut this and see what happens. There it is. So now, there's our coil. There's no leakage between coils anymore, so we got a bad cap, which is not a surprise to anybody. And in the oscillator circuit, that could be a real problem. Well, since all the coils are good, I guess I'll start replacing caps and I'll have to check somebody else's engineering. I think I'll probably put this radio back the way it was originally designed. Thanks for watching.